Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video, I would like to follow up on what I was talking about in my last video on using the large degree trend in uh, MT Predictor by using the higher time frame charts and our DPs, they are decision point levels on the higher time frame charts. So I want to show you how this would have uh, worked yesterday uh, on the ES on a short term chart which was the 10th November. Now remember we don't use our STF color coded indicator here for our large degree trend determination we go to the higher time frame chart. So if the higher time frame chart is a time frame between three and five time frames higher. So for a three minute chart it would mean going out to the 15 minute chart. If you're trading for example a daily uh, euro, I looked at this in the last uh, video, you'll be going out to a weekly chart for your large degree trend and then looking to trade in the direction of the uh, the weekly trend for your daily analysis and as you can see that caught a very nice TS3 sell setup there that's currently sitting on a nice 4.6 hour profit. But back to the uh, the E-mini. Now for this we then look to the last uh, pivots. So as the market was declining down on the 9th which was the day before yesterday we would have had a DP level of this prior pivot here. So we basically look to prior pivots for areas to then uh, place our DP off. And as you can see, the market came down into this level, it made a little wiggle and then carried on down. So where would the next level have been? Well, if we zoom out, can you see how there's the next uh, pivot low would have been way back here on the 2nd. Well, actually, it's the 30th of October. Can you see that? So after that low, we then come back and then the last uh, major low before that would have been this low on the 30th of October. So we right mouse click, place this decision point level on. Now remember these are on the chart in advance and I think actually when we were doing our customer only webinar on uh, <clears throat> on Monday John actually put this very level on the chart himself and I think the market was in around this decision point level here at around the uh, 74 level and he said that if this level breaks we'd then probably go down to the next uh, DP level which is around the 65 61 level and as you see that's exactly what happened with the market then <clears throat> on the 9th making the low of the day right at that uh, uh, at that particular low. So that was really nice to then have that level on the chart in advance. So what does that mean for the market yesterday which was the 10th? Well because this was major support the large view trend would be up. So can you all see that? Market made a low on the 15 minute chart the large view trend would, up, would be up. It would be up into where? Well the market came up, came down here and then started to rally back up again. So at this point yesterday, which is around the 10.30 area, we'd still be in an uptrend off the low from the previous day. So let's go to our three minute chart and see how that would have allowed us to make any trades. So there's our 15 minute support coming in at the previous day's low. Therefore, large degree trend was up, therefore we'd be looking for buy setups. So can you see how this TS4 buy would have been the perfect one to take? This was also on a black STF as well, so standard traders would have taken this. Let's right mouse click over the blue buy bar, place the analysis on, and there you can see would have been our target. The market didn't quite reach it. It didn't quite reach it. Awfully close there, so you'd have actually been stopped out on the close, which was around about 77.75. So that would have been a very good trade because it basically had one long trade from pretty much, uh, well, from the very bar of the low of the day. So this um, what bar is the 1024 bar, which uh, signaled our TS4 buy setup, was the bar of the low of the day. You can see it there. So we had our trading signal on the bar of the low of the day. We were then holding long to then come out, well, not far off the high of the day up there. So the best any day trader could have done uh, yesterday. And the result was a profit of 4.4 times the initial risk. Remember we use our correct position sizing to keep our initial risk small under control, in this case less than 2% of a sample $20,000 uh, demo account. So one trade with a profit of 4.4 times the initial risk. Um, there was also a couple of other trades here. This TS3 sell here, you'd have ignored because we know the large we trade is up. We've discussed that already. If you'd been a more experienced uh, trader, you may well have looked to pyramid or add to your existing position at this TS3 buy setup here. Let's place the analysis on. How would you have traded this? Well, you'd have looked to go 
uh, up into the previous target, which actually was the DP office level here, so I'll put that back in there. That was the previous target, so you'd probably wanted to manage your trade up into that level for a potential 3.R profit, sorry, 5.3R profit, but of course, as we know, you'd have been stopped out on close for about 46 Remember what I say, if you do add or pyramid, then make sure that once you've entered the new trade or the second trade in the direction of your campaign, if you want to call it a campaign, you bring your stop to break even on your previous setup, therefore you don't add uh, any risk to your initial trade. So if you had have done that as a more experienced user, you'd have added a nice 4.6R, so plus 4.6R, as well as the previous, previous trade, which was down here, wasn't it? Let's bring it down to where the close is, plus 4.4, plus 4.4, if my maths is correct, that's plus 9R profit. So that's a very, very good day. Just check that, yep, 9R profit. So a good day there. But the, the thing that I liked about this the best was obviously having our TS4 buy set up, signalled on the very bar of the low of the day, then holding it long for pretty much the rest of the day, coming out almost at the high of the day on the close there. So the best any day trader could do. But the purpose of doing this video today was actually showing again how we use the larger degree trend when we come into our higher time frame charts and how these levels, these DP levels are on the chart in advance. So this level would have been here as I've already discussed before the market even got down there preparing you for potential support. And as you can see that now the very low of the day on the previous day which was the 9th that then the market has then rallied uh, off that level since. That then set the larger trend to be up, which then allowed you yesterday to take the long sides with confidence and ignore the short sides, which allowed you to capture these, uh, these uh, good trades. Firstly, the TS4 buy setup off the bar of the low of the day, then a potential pyramid of this TS3 buy setup. So a good example of MT predictor in action yesterday on the USE minis, the ES in particular, and also how we use the large degree trend or use our DPs on the higher time frame charts to gauge the large degree trend. And it's amazing how many times we can nail the very low or high of the day with our DPs as they come in like this. So a good day for MT predictor yesterday, which was uh, the 10th of November.